we're going to give you a quick run of this portable air conditioner that comes with this remote too. So I'm going to plug this in. Plug it in. As you guys can see, there's a green light. It means that there's AC power getting flowed in to the machine. And you can see that this one comes with a quick remote for this portable AC. When I turn this on, you guys are going to see the door vanes open and then you're gonna hear the motor turn on and this thing i actually just recently just cleaned the inside of the unit so i'm going to show you guys well quick and i'll turn it on just for you guys to be sure that i actually just washed the condenser coil and of course these comes with removable filters which you can wash them basically which i already did yesterday cleaned it up i've just washed this filter which is a washable filter and also you just need to vacuum it wash it all out dry it and then pop it back in and you can see the evaporator coil is very clean so there's nothing blocked or anything and this cover is easy to clean it actually has a washable filter in it same with this one too so I've cleaned both of them, and this one is in good shape. This is manufactured from January 1st, 2016. And it's an R410A system with this one taking refrigerant R410A and show you what it does. And there's the mode settings, so you can see it's on Dehumification, which is dry. This is dry, which basically dehumifies the air as it's made for dehumification. And fan is constant on. Cool, remember, if you have it on cool with this one, it will automatically set once you have it set on a thermostat temperature. But you guys can see it's on dehumification mode. So if I put it on cool, and you can control the thermostat. So if I set it to 72, and if it actually uh, detects when this temperature ambient drops below 72, this fan will automatically cycle, kind of like an air conditioner unit does. You guys can feel it as it's blowing very nice cold air out of this unit as this unit happens to have good refrigerant and of course the blower motors and all in this unit is working really good. And I happen to mention on video that I actually washed the condenser coil and I just dried it out for a good hour and I popped the cover back on, put some screws back into it, make sure you don't lose the screws. And have a note, this thing is really cool that it has features in it. So we're gonna do a swing. This thing actually rotates. As you guys can see, I just pressed this swing button. Really nice little portable unit. It's running really nice. You guys can hear the motors running and even the compressor has kicked in so you can tell that this unit is blowing really nice cold air. And there's sleep mode. You guys can see it's at 72 now, so the fan will automatically kick off as it detects to the lower ambient temperature. And this thing is blowing out really nice cold air which tells me that this unit has good refrigeration in the system, which is very nice that this system is, is working as we know. And you guys can see that the ambient temperature has dropped and also has a quick remote also with ambient thermostat built in on it. So if it detects your room temperature basically and if it gets a little too hot, this fan will communicate along with the remote. So if it finds the temperature ambient below this, the fan will automatically shut off. And there's the thermostat, high and low. Which this unit is apparently running perfectly. You can see there's three modes. You see, there's the modes, cool, dry, and fan. Dry is dehumidification for removing high humidity. And cool, is for cooling you in a hot summer day basically but that is also a little different than what dry is but there's there's the two settings right here you will tell but cool is automatic so once it finds that your room is too cold 
the fan will automatically turn off. So apparently if I have it on cool mode, the thermostat will automatically kick over, but it's gonna run on fan still. And once it finds the room is getting a little warm, it's gonna kick on the fan and compressor. You guys can see there's the fan mode setting. If I click it, there's high and there's medium and low. And remember, these remotes have this nice little programmable schedule and also has a time that knows on what you basically set for the system. Even if you have it on a timer schedule, this fan on this portable AC will automatically turn off. So you don't have to worry about having to turn it off manually and all that. This Hyson has really good features in this Hyson portable unit. This thermostat, very easy to adjust, really cool little feature. And also you can do it with the remote, even if you're in, the, in your bed, you just feel like you don't wanna go out and turning on manually the portable AC, you can just use this remote. This remote has really good features in all. It also has something similar than what the main control of this portable AC has. But this thing really does good and it also has good little features that you can use and it actually will do the job for you. It has a built-in time schedule. You basically set it out on what time you want the system to cycle. It will do the job for you. So you don't have to get out of your bed, do something manually with this. This thing will do the job. Nice and quiet unit, as you guys heard when I start this unit up. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you find this video helpful, if you did, hit the like button. I really appreciate it. And make sure you hit that subscribe button or notification bell so you'll be notified too. So you'll never miss a video that we upload on this repair channel. And have a great day. Stay safe. Bye.